All right, if you're in traction waveform, and this is traction waveform 13, you may want to do something that we like to call parallel processing. Parallel processing, maybe you don't know about it or not, but basically it's where you take a signal and you send it somewhere else, and that other signal that you basically copy or duplicate, you can manipulate it different ways. Add an EQ, add in compression, reverb, etc. And in this case, I have something that I just discovered. I don't even know where this came from. It's something I recorded a long time ago. It's not something fancy, but I have a vocal. We'll listen to it real quick, and then I'm going to go about doing some crazy things with it. All right, so we have this audio track. Let's listen to it. I have everything else muted. Oh, you know, that's what I said. Ooh. Okay, so very uninteresting. I know. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, it was one of those days where I probably was just, I don't know, I was I was tripping. But anyway, so we're using aux sends and aux returns. And if you don't know how to set up aux sends and aux return, I have a video that probably will be linked at the end. Uh, you can click on it to find out how to set that up. But in this case, when you set up your aux return, your aux return channel is going to be the channel that you manipulate. It's almost like you're sending a signal from your main track, which is what I just played, to your new track that's going to have all the fancy good things on it. All right. So we have on this track, I have a plate reverb. All right. There's a few different reverb plugins that come with Traction Waveform, the free version, basically. Um, so I'm not really tripping off of the settings. It's just a plugin. I just popped it on there. All right. And then I have a pitch shifter, which I really love to use because it's going to offer you know, different characteristics that you may want in your vocals. Like it's good to blend it in, especially if like you want to go for that octave lower and you're like me, you're a tenor. You can't really sing really low, like way down or somewhere. Uh, sometimes I can, but other times it's good to just put on an effect and kind of blend it in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to just put this straight original so you can hear it with the processing. All right, let's listen to it now. Oh, you know, that's what I said. Ooh. Now, what's cool is now I can actually adjust this pitch. All right. Oh, you know, that's what I said. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and I can go even higher. Oh, you know. Now, if I didn't want to hear the main track, I can just simply turn that volume down. <laughs> All right, so it's such a cool way to go about doing things. Uh, this is great for compression, like I said, adding other effects. And you notice I turned the main track down. If I wanted to have the main track up, you know, have it, you know, zero decibels or so somewhere near that, uh, then I can blend the other one, the lower one. I can bring it down. Oh, you know, that's what I said. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And now you hear it, but it's not as um, prominent. Okay, hopefully I can use that word if I use it right. Um, this is it, you all. All right, so I'm <laughs> just a norm. It's a late night. It's 11.40 some p.m. Trying to keep a schedule of putting videos out every Thursday. If you like content like this, um, great little bitty nuggets to help you get better at using weight form and better production uh definitely subscribe to the channel click the notification bell you're notified every time i post new contents right now which is thursdays thursday mornings um trying to keep it consistent every thursday morning if you have any questions about what i just did let me know and then once again the aux in aux return you're going to need that at some point in time in your life so definitely click on this video to watch how to use it. Thank you all. Take care.